to go through, unfollow everything and replace them with some more. Morning sunshine! I am so excited to be chatting about this topic. All of these beautiful affirmations and new stories that we can tell that are going to help us expand effortlessly. Relationships with your family, your friends, your career. Because the more that we love the work that we're doing in the world, the more energy and drive and passion. Good morning, beautiful humans, and welcome back to my channel this morning. I wanted to film really quickly a little video about how to connect with your inner guidance. And this is something that I was told or asked to bring forward today. Whenever I wake up in the morning, um, I always ask, and this is one of the things I'm going to teach you today, I always ask, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? What would you have me say and to whom? And this was one of the things that first came up this morning. So I'm so, so honored and just so grateful that I get to share this with you guys. Um, connecting to source, connecting to spirit, connecting to God is something that is pretty new to me. I think, you know, it's something that we've we've all done at some point in our lives, whether we're consciously aware of it or not. But for me, I really shunned that part of myself and I locked away that part of myself for a really long time because I was skeptical. I didn't want to believe that, you know, there was a man in the sky and I still don't, <laughs> that there was a man in the sky that told me what I could and couldn't do. My ideas about God were wrapped up in rules, they were wrapped up in restrictions, they were wrapped up in limitation really and ideas about right and wrong that really didn't resonate with the, the part of me that was an intellectual, the part of me that was an academic, the part of me that wanted to think critically and wanted to expand my ideas about the world and the religion that I grew up with, the faith that I grew up with, the, the identity or the idea of God that I grew up with didn't fit into this new framework that I was creating as I was going into my late teens and early 20s, especially when I was at uni and studying. I did a course on the psychology of religion and I pretty much decided that God wasn't for me. It was very much a, um, a rational, conscious choice that God was a crutch that people used when they couldn't deal with the fact that life was finite and that um, you know one day that they, they would die and that one day we, and these lives of ours and these bodies would turn to dust and these lives of ours would come to an end and it's no surprise that during that time in my life when that way of thinking was really prominent for me I wasn't very happy there was a lot going on I was struggling with a lot of mental health issues, I was struggling with addiction at the time before I'd really put a label on it, then it was just what I considered normal, um, normal behaviour. But I was in a really dark place in my life and it wasn't until, and if you've watched some of my other videos you'll know, you'll hear me tell the story of how I went from darkness to light, how I hit rock bottom and then used that as the foundation upon which I built the rest of my life. But for now, I'll just say that my connection with God now forms the foundation of absolutely everything else that I do in my life. It is the basis upon which I draw my strength. It is the well from which I draw my courage. It is the quite literally the foundation of my morals, my ethics, my values. Is my you know my belief in a higher power, and more than my belief, my connection with and my relationship with um, this high power that I call God. You might not like to call it God, you might call it source, you might call it your higher self, you might like to call it spirit, you might like to call it Allah or Buddha or Krishna or whatever resonates with you, whatever word resonates with you. One of the things that I um, absolutely love teaching on is this idea that all of the world's religions lead back to the one core essential truth. Um, and within that and wrapped around that is this idea that we're all connected and this idea that um, we are infinitely guided and supported in every single moment of every single day. So these are some of the ways that I connect to God and these are some of the ways that have, um, these are some of the, the practices and principles that I've used to help me transform my life um, to what it is today, which is, you know, peaceful and blissful and all of those other things. Um, I don't think having a connection with God is, is necessary to live a happy life, but I do believe that it is fundamental in accessing the full potential of what we're here to do and what we're here to give and what we're here to bring and experience um, and be on this planet. I don't think it's possible to really fully experience the full realm of, you know, of human potential and um, the, you know, the limits and the capacity for joy that we really have here in this lifetime without having that spiritual connection. That's my fundamental belief, having been through both, having been on the side of being incredibly skeptical and having been on the side of being a hard out to vote hardcore believer. Um, I'm more towards this end now and the further I go down that path, um, the more connected I become to myself in this infinite unchanging never ending part of me, which is really just what 
you know, God is. It's the part of us that never changes. It's the part of us that was here before we were born and will be here after we die. It's the part of us that's connected and tapped in and tuned into the inherent oneness within all of us. Um, and the more that I connect in with that and the deeper I go into relationship with that, the better my life becomes. It's this beautiful um, correlation that I can see with deeper connection, meaning my ability to um, shop in the world is in a greater way is strengthened and my ability to cultivate peace and security and and joy within in every moment is strengthened as well. So these are some of the things that I do. So this morning when I was asking what I should do, and that's one of the things that I do every day, is ask what would you have me speak on today? What would you have me teach on? And one of the first things that came up was, um, one of the things that I heard was teach them how to pray. So I'm just gonna run you through now a really quick exercise um, that is how I sort of create my prayers and how I pray every day. Prayer is, I don't know, it, it's kind of been built up to be this thing that has to be really like religious and it has to be really um there has to be a lot of rules around it and it has to be really formal and it has to be really ritualistic and in reality i think what god wants us to know is that we get to strip it all back and we actually get to just um, like prayer is just a conversation it really is it's just a conversation between you and your higher self and you and god and when we when we come from that when we believe that when we know that in our hearts and we act out of that belief and that knowledge then it just gets really simple like we just get to say okay well I'm in the shower and I feel like talking to God now so I'm just going to start a prayer it doesn't have to be anything special it doesn't have to be anything fancy I pray while I'm driving I pray while I'm in the shower I pray like absolutely every moment of every day I like there's some form of communication going on but um prayer for me runs in three stages so the first one um when I pray I just say dear God because that's the word that resonates with me and that's the vocabulary that resonates with me and that's the um the being that I feel most connected to and I start with gratitude so I think in the Bible it talks about how um, we should start with, we start by giving thanks, right? Start by expressing our gratitude. Thank you, God, so much for, for all the beautiful things in my life right now. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for the roof over my head. Thank you for the, the floor beneath my feet. It can be so little, you guys. It doesn't have to be anything massive. And what this does it, is it helps us to remind ourselves what we're grateful for as well. So I just start by saying, you know, a couple of things that I'm grateful for. God, thank you so much for... Um, the fact that it's a beautiful day outside. Thank you for this opportunity to do what I love in the service of others today. Thank you so much for the, um, you know, the the gifts that I've been given to serve the world. Like whatever it is for you guys, um, might be just one thing or three things that you're grateful for today. Um, the next thing that I do is just ask God to shift my perspective. So, the secret to prayer, and when I say the secret to prayer, it's not some big secret that you have to unveil. But I think for me, what really works is knowing that prayer is not about um, asking God to give us what we want, it's actually about shifting our perception to realize that we already have it. So it's about saying, okay, God, I know that you know, you, you're giving me everything I need right now. Like if I, if I don't have it right now, it's not a need of mine right now. And I know that I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. You're, you're constantly like guiding me to exactly where I'm meant to be. So if there's something in my life that I'm not like vibing with, if there's something in my life that I don't, that I'm feeling resistance around, all I need to do, I know in that moment is shift my perception. So God, help me so the prayer is really God shift my perception. And in A Course in Miracles, the um, text talks about this idea of a miracle literally being just a shift in perception. A miracle isn't when the external changes. A miracle is when our internal perception of the external realm changes. So rather than asking God to change my life or to change anything in my life, I ask God to help me see and to change my perspective. So if there's something that... I don't understand or I'm feeling really icky about or like there's been so many instances in the last few weeks I've been feeling really stuck around just for one example as one example I've been feeling really stuck around I thought I would be in LA by now I thought I would be overseas by now I thought um you know I didn't think that I'd still be here like on the Gold Coast and God's been really teaching me about how um you know the, the fact that I'm always exactly where I'm meant to be so I asked like I said God, show me your perspective. Like, help me to see this through your eyes. And this works for, like, circumstances and people sometimes. And I recommended this to a client the other day. Sometimes I'll say, literally, just, if there's someone, the relation, a relationship that you're struggling with, literally ask God, okay, God, show me how to see this person through your eyes. Like, show me how you see this person. And you're just, your perspective of them just shifts instantly because all of a sudden you see they're innocent, they're blameless, they're completely perfect exactly the way they are. And... You, you start to see their strengths and you start to see that beautiful inner light glowing even more brightly than you might have before. So asking God to, to not really change your circumstances, but change your perspective of your circumstances and then trust that he's giving you whatever you need. He or she is giving you whatever you need to change those circumstances if there's something that you want to change. Um, so gratitude, um, shift your perspective and then just I call in. Like I, I, I pray, first of all, um, 
I pray over like my business, I pray over my family, I pray over my friends, but I also just call in whatever I need. So God, give me like strength today. God, give me like the characteristics and the, the qualities that I really need to do what I'm here to do today. So God, give me strength. God, give me courage. God, give me patience. God, give me whatever it is. I ask for the qualities that I need within me and I trust that he's imbuing those qualities within me. Um, and then I trust that I ask that, yeah, whatever I need to face, whatever I'm going to face today, just let me, you know, have it in droves. I ask him to guide me wherever I'm meant to go. That's the last thing I do. But the next thing I do, number three or four, I think this is, um, is just bless everyone in my life. So bless the people that I haven't spoken to in 10 years, bless the people I went to school with, bless the people, um, you know, bless the people that are in my family, bless the people that I see every day. I pray over my business. Um, you guys, I pray over like, um, you know, God help me with this one tricky situation that's coming up today. I pray over like, um, you know, my family, my friends, like my, the final thing that I do is I ask for guidance. Um, and I literally just say, God, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? What would you have me say and to whom? And that's a prayer for a course in miracles. And I just know once I've said that, once I've asked God to, to guide me, I just know and trust that I will be guided. And when I say guided, I mean like I will get little nudges throughout the day of what I'm meant to do. Send an email to that person. I'll have like this the inspiration for this video this morning came from like, you know, my, my inner guidance saying to me, teach them, or God saying to me through my inner guidance, teach them how to pray. So it's like, I don't think um, it's really about, like I, I never think of it as me guiding I'm definitely consciously creating what I want, but it's a co-creation and it's a co-creative process. And it's, um, yeah, it's a joint venture or a joint adventure with God. <laughs> but it is, it's like a, I get to co-create this reality that I'm experiencing. And um, I know that when I, like the, the, the quicker I surrender and the more I surrender up my ideas about what I want my life to look like to instead follow the, the guidance that God wants to give me, I know that his plan for my life is like 10 times greater than anything that I could ever imagine. And I know that even like the highest visions that I have for my life, like God has put them there for a reason, but also like he has like ways of making them happen that I can't even see from my perspective. So what prayer is for me is like, it's getting that God perspective and it's just like surrendering up everything that I do. So I know that it's in alignment with my highest good and I know that it's leading me to where I want to be. <laughs> um, yeah, prayer is one of those things that I think it doesn't have to be anything special or sacred or whatever. And you can end it like however you want, you guys. You can say, um, it might just be like, yeah, God guide me to where you'd have me go. What would you have me do? What would you have me say to whom? And then it could just be as simple as like, thank you so much, amen. I was saying your name, your holy name, I pray, amen. Um, it's really just like a, a getting a bit of closure around that last piece of um, the puzzle. But yeah, I would love to know what your questions are around this. Just let me know. Um, type them in the comments. Let me know. What have you, um, you, how do you connect to God? What, what makes a lot of sense for you? Um, where, where you feel the most comfortable praying? What prayer looks like to you? What prayer's done for you? And um, yeah, I would absolutely love to hear. And this guidance, you guys, like this guidance is available to you in every single moment of every single day. That was one thing I wanted to really impress upon you. That's one thing I wanted to say is that um, you're never without it. Like you can literally ask for guidance in every single second, every single moment of every single day. God is always with you and God is always waiting to give you that higher guidance. So when you're, yeah, if you want to embody that highest path of your soul, if you want to get to that point where you're living the life that is in alignment with your highest like visions that you have about your future or the dreams that you have for yourself, then the quickest way to get there is to, to ask like, okay, where would you have me? You know, like I've cast my vision, you know where I'm at. Um, how would you have me get there? And um, yeah, God will lead you and your inner guidance will lead you to exactly where you're meant to be in each moment. So just tune in and ask in any moment of any day, um, what would you have me do next? What would you have me do now? And that's like all I ever do in my business and in my life is just ask for the next right step. And um, I just pray that I can follow that as closely as possible. That's like my measure of success is how closely I can follow the guidance that God puts on my heart. So um, I'm going to do another video about distinguishing between like how to really tell that it's your inner guidance. but. Mostly it's really just about where does it come from in your body. My inner guidance usually comes from like my heart or like deep down in my body. It's rarely from my head. Um, but it's also just does it make me feel excited? Does it feel easy? Does it feel joyful? Does it feel blissful? Does it make me feel expansive? And that's like a really great way to know that it's your inner guidance. So yeah, prayer is available to you in every moment. I can't even describe how big of an impact this has had on my life. And 
just knowing that I don't have to do this alone is absolutely everything to me, knowing that I can just, um, I don't have to do it all. I get to just show up and be exactly who I am and use the gifts that I've been given and God, God will do the rest. And to me, that's like, it's just the greatest thing in the history of the world. So yeah, I'm just super grateful for that. But yeah, hope you loved this video. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that you want to know more about. And um, I can't wait to chat to you down there. Remember, this guidance is available to you in every single moment. You're always being divinely supported and um, you've got this. Sending you so much love wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to see you soon. Love you, world changer.